Hey there, welcome to this short video I'm going to be doing to show you how you can get up to 75 strength or more without ship buffs on your wolf. And the reason why you'd want to do that is so you can get the strength lever in Legendary Elite Tempest Spine, which requires a strength of 75. Unfortunately, there are so many like alternative kind of builds now that having, you know, even if you have a bunch of fighters and stuff and barbarians in your in your group, a lot of times they don't have 75 strength. So if you're on a druid, you can get it there on your wolf. So let's see how we can do that. Now first, uh, I'm going to pull out a fresh wolf, and I wanted to sh pull out my wolf on the video to show you. Well, because this way he wouldn't have any existing buffs. He won't have ship buffs on him. Um, and the value of being able to do this without ship buffs is because, you know, if you're doing a legendary elite raid, you're probably not going to have your wolf following you around because he's going to die a lot. So you're probably just going to pull him out for the lever and then put him back. And if you did that, you know, he's not going to have ship buffs. Ship buffs is only, I think, only an extra two anyway. So. But that can make a difference. I, I, I want you to see that you can get there pretty easily without that. Now, I do have three Druid Pass Lives, so that's giving my wolf a plus six uh, to all stats. But you don't need that to get to 75 strength. You can do it without it. So let's see what we can do. Let's first pull up uh, inventory here, pet inventory and stuff. So I've got a standing 72 strength on Snarl. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out my Stink Pelt's hide. I just I wanted to get an armor or I suppose you could do a collar that has two slots and I wanted to slot it up with Strength plus 8 and an Insightful Strength plus 2. Now, if you don't have both of those that's okay. If you don't have every last piece of what I'm going to show you that's okay because I'm going to get well above 75 strength. So I'm going to slide that on, and I go up to 62 strength. That was a big jump. Okay, so now you probably know if you're a druid how we can get the rest of the way, but let's just show you, because there might be some things that you didn't think about. Oops, one of them is Raging Wolf, which, why is my shortcut? Oh, got to put it there. There we go. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's put Animal Growth on him. 66. Uh, pack strength, 70. Bull strength isn't going to do anything because that's not going to stack with with the um, augment that I had on him. But if you didn't have those strength augments, then you could use bull strength. I'm also going to do, uh, I'm going to cast the spell rage. Now he's up to 72. Now I'm going to do his wolf rage. Now he's up to 76. Now I'm going to equip my epic Roderick's wand which has augment summoning on it and if you don't have that you know that can be challenging to make you can also get a necklace of mystic eidolons and that'll have augment summoning on it as well or maybe you have the feet I don't have the feet augment summoning but you can just equip that and it'll give it to him while you have it equipped now I'm up to 80 and you can toss a primal scream too now I'm up to 83 hell yeah and if you had like improved augment summoning that would be four more you know if you had uh, you know, Harper leadership, that would be four more. So, I mean, you can see I mean, we're up to 83. And I was playing around with it earlier, and I thought I had gotten a little higher than this, too. But that's well past your 75 benchmark. That's how you can do it. If you are watching this video and you're thinking, hey, there's this other way you can get higher strength, too, put a comment in the video. And um, now you don't have to sit there and wait for somebody to get 75 strength if you're doing Legendary Elite Tempest Spine or your Druid, because now you can just have your wolf do it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. And if you happen to be on Sarlona, you are welcome to send me a tell.